Hello, my bike and bean-loving friends. We're making our way south on the off-road runner here in New Mexico. We've said goodbye to the high mountains and cold temperatures, and now we're loving the desert heat. In this episode, we sit in rocking chairs for six straight hours. Just kidding, we got places to go. Today's spooky animal is a big old rattlesnake. And if you ever wanted to see a Viking in a bath full of mineral water, this video is for you. Hot and steamy. Oh, it's chilly and I'm all cozy in my sleeping bag. I had a great night of sleep. Probably my best night of sleep. And now it's time to look and see what the world looks like. Oh, hey. Good morning, Java. Morning. How'd you sleep? Really good. Right on. There it is. The sun is coming up. Whoo. You can come outside now. It's warm. The sun's up. It's like 80 degrees. <laughs> Good morning, Shadow. I'm hearing weird noises out of here. <laughs> Look at it go. Look at it glisten. Life is good. Mm -hmm. All you need is a little treat to start your day. Some sunshine. A good night's rest. It's going to be a good day. Is it time? I will literally strike you down. This is the beard trimmer side. You don't want to poke this bear. You don't want to do it. <laughs> big problem. Real big problem. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you know, are you sure, buddy? It's so nice to have a smooth face. Bro, I haven't seen my face in 12 years. Really? I used to have to do what you're doing two times a day, every day in the Marine Corps, or they would write me up for not shaving. Really? Oh yeah. Did Part you know, of your uniform, man. Uniform. You gotta be clean shaving. I see my little my little chin butt. Wow. I got a little chin butt right there. You do. I have a strong jawline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's all hidden. Yeah. I don't even know. I might look like a twelve-year-old boy under there now. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great place to sleep. Thank you. Flat ground. Best night of sleep yet. My man. Day five, can you believe it? Yeah, I can. All right, good. <laughs> I've been counting. <laughs> oh, you've been counting. I can count all the way to five. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have some fun, huh? Let's go have some fun. You know, sometimes in the morning, I start humming motivational songs to myself to get ready for the day. And today's is dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da 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 Da, 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 Look at the cows. Hi, good morning. Here we go. No flatties. No, no crashies. No, no whammy. This is awesome. This is honestly so great. This is so great. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. Do those bikes, do they, oh, <laughs> they don't have uh, motors? motors? No, no motors. no motors. They were pedal powered all the way. How's that water, buddy? It's honestly some of the best water I've had so far. So you've lived here all your life, you said? Yeah. Wow. Did you see any elk this morning? I haven't I seen any elk, elk, no. Plenty of pronghorn. Bunch out there on them flats. We are so excited about this water. I didn't really drink a ton last night to be able to save some for today because we don't really know what's down the road in Chloride Canyon. And we just three miles away from camp found this lovely ranch. And our new friends, Daryl and Justin, and uh, they're letting us fill up. Thank you so much, my friends. All right, you guys have a good one. And here we are. We finally met up with the root. How you doing, my friend? I'm angry. <laughs> No, man, today's great. Getting that water was clutch McGee. I'm all lubed up in my gooch. I'm all slathered up on my arms and legs and face and ears. We're gonna have the hottest day 
Temperature wise, the sunniest day. And I feel good. We just noticed, looked like a camel, but that, <laughs> that's an elk up there. Hey buddy, he's looking right at us. Ryan, what's the name of this ranch? Wahoo! He is correct. It is Wahoo! I am mesmerized by all these hills around me. And although they're not giant, majestic, snow-capped mountains like we saw earlier on the trip, they're beautiful in their own right. They look like they're covered in velvet. They look soft. I just want to lay down in them. There's some more elk running across the field. Pretty awesome. Whoa, see him jump that fence. Nice. Uh, I'm just down here having a little dirt nap, hanging out with my camera. Oh, let's see how dirty I am. Does your camera have a name? <laughs> Sony. Hey there, little Sony. Sony. Sunny. Unfortunately, it is time for another detour. We are currently right here, and the route takes us way over here into Chloride Canyon which is supposed to be absolutely beautiful, but so many locals have told us that it is in very bad shape. So instead, we're just gonna zip right down here, cut off a lot of miles, and that's just the way it's gonna be. Ooh, we are on some fast pavement now. just pulled up into Winston. Uh -huh. Looks like there's one building. It is the general store and they have a lot of stuff here. This is a, one of the bigger general stores we've been in. I guess it can't be a general store without some deer heads, right? How you doing? Gabba, and if you know, if you need a gun, plenty. Listen, I'm already, I'm already. Ring, ring, ring core, baby. All right. I always have a good time in these little shops. It's kind of the treat, midday treat or the end of the day treat. Maybe we should just stay here the rest of the afternoon. I mean, this is nice. Rocking. And if you need gas, there's there's gas right there. Oh, I got all I can, I got all I can handle internally. <laughs> hey, uh, Doozer, what do you think the fire danger is today? Not that high. No? No. How do you know? I don't know. It says it's not. <laughs> or maybe it's off the charts. <laughs> Listen, I'm a sweater, but this might be the first time I've seen sweat on the front of your shirt this whole trip. Hey. It is our hottest day. Welcome to the desert. Yeah, look at that 24 pack. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. It's just literally a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> this whole afternoon has been downhill on pavement. We've dropped about 3,000 feet from where we started. It's hot, we're in the desert. And this town has, hold for audio, special significance because when I rode my bike home from Honduras in 2005, my buddy Jeff and I stayed here on a freezing December night and jumped in the hot springs. And that's what Job and I are gonna do. We're gonna find some hot springs. Here we have Jeff in thermal hot springs here and truth or consequences, 
New Mexico. Jeff, how's the water? We've been uh, looking for hot springs ever since Aguas Calientes yeah. in uh, Mexico, and now we finally got some. It's time for mineral water. There's our mineral water. There's our Viking. It is so hot, but I also love it. And we're gonna sleep really well tonight. We've been hammering for many, many days. For sure. Every day except for one, we've gone 70 plus. How you feeling there, homie? Stretching out my Achilles, feeling mm. great. Oh yeah, look at those calves. You know, buddy, it's probably since I was a child, since I was in a bathtub with actually another human. You know, shout out to Ethan? Yeah, shout out to Ethan and <laughs> Logan and Sarah. We used to pile in the bathtub. This building's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, and it's so and so are you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and so am I. Oh. Yeah, me and my two sisters and my brother, we're all within five years, five and a half years. And there are pictures of us like totally in our tiny bathtub, all yeah. just like having a bubble party. Oh, yeah, we need to get some bubbles, man. Yeah. I'm very hungry. I'm so hungry I ordered the biggest burrito on the planet. Yeah. Like, that's my hand. Uh, that's my hand. All right, my man. Day six, you got your banana? It's your banana, actually. Oh, good. I'm glad I could provide that for you. Day six, that. we're going to go have some fun. We're heading out into the desert. It's going to be hot today. This is our last day of spending tonight together. That's right. Tonight will be our last camp, and I'm excited. Yep. I mean, <laughs> unless anything I mean, I'm bad not, happens. I'm not excited that it's our last camp together. I'm just excited <laughs> to camp in the desert. That's what I meant. Okay, yeah, let's okay. go. Wow, let's wow. go. And thank you, Pelican Hotel. If you stay here, you can use their mineral waters. The rooms are nice, and it's pretty economical. 85 bucks. Let's do it. Yeah, you, you. I can see you hiding behind your bike. <laughs> all right, there's my bike, all dressed up, ready to go. There's my Viking all dressed up, ready to go. So I got all dolled up. Here we are going over the mighty Rio Grande. Look at that. We have crossed the Rio Grande, the Rio Grande, and uh, we're happy. Are you happy? I love going uphill. <laughs> I actually do love going uphill, but he loves going downhill. We all have our strengths. Damn! <laughs> Dad joke. This is Elephant Butte Dam, right there. Here's Jabba taking a photo of his bike oh. next to the beautiful view. <laughs> I can see you there. Look at that. What do you think of this, bud? Well, I think it's pretty unbelievable that there's this much water. <laughs> In the desert? <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's pretty unbelievable that there's no like trees anywhere near the water. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> so reservoirs are weird. Yeah, yeah, they are weird. They're man-made. They are not natural. No, they are not. They're about as natural as that material your shirt is made out of. <laughs> but what about everything that's underneath the shirt? <laughs> uh, I made this myself. That is natural. <laughs> Ice back with a brand new big This is an open, lonely road. Wow, check this out. Woo.
You don't see many big trees like that out in the desert, big cottonwood. And the reason why that one survives is because of the windmill right here, pumping up water. So there's definitely water right there. My man, here we are riding in the desert. I got my shirt all the way unbuttoned. All the way unbuttoned. Isn't it crazy to think that just a few days ago we were getting snowed on? It is crazy. I was <laughs> very uncomfortable while riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now being cold is not a thought in our minds. That's what I love about traveling by bike is, you know, if you're in a state like New Mexico, you are gonna go through completely different ecosystems and weather patterns especially in the spring. It's really fun. I don't think we're gonna get cold for the rest of the ride. I agree. Unless, unless we're in a gas station drinking a cold soda. We're in the low desert now, baby. found a little friend here on the road, rode right past him, looks like a stick. It looks like he just ate, he's got a lump right below his neck. Dude, he just, he didn't, he just molted recently. Yeah, like, I think he just ate. There we go. <laughs> See you later, I buddy. I wanted. I wanted him to Bye. Go. I love snakes. When I was a kid, I had a lot of pet snakes. I used to always love catching snakes. Whenever I see them, I like to take the time to check them out. And I've never seen one like that in Colorado. I don't know exactly what kind it is, but maybe a rat snake or a racer. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's a rattlesnake. Come here, buddy. And this one right here is the bitey kind. We rode by and his tail started wagging. Look at him hidden in those bushes. He's just enjoying his day sitting in the shade. And along came two bikers to spook him. You can barely see him. You gotta zoom all the way in and then you will see his little head and his little tongue. And right next to that rattlesnake, this is an old farmhouse. Looks abandoned. Look at this. The old AC there. Oh wow, that's some. Oh, oh my oh, god. There's another one over there. Oh my god, what is that? I don't know. We heard another rattlesnake's tail start going. We walked right over there. That's yeah, that sound is so spooky. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, it does work. Be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. They seem to be everywhere. Anyway, that's what a cool that, place. That's padlocked as well, so we're good. Yeah. Let's go. I don't want to get bit by a rattler. <laughs> the second to last day. But it is cool. It is cool to think about a family living here, raising children, living. I mean, we are very far away from any civilization. That would be a peaceful life. Oops, bonked my head. <laughs> Good thing I had a helmet on. Goodbye, Rattlesnake Ranch. <laughs> Onward, into the wind. The wind is picking up. That's what the weather said it would do, and that's what happens when you're in these wide open places. There's usually wind.
I like this road. Some of the rougher roads we've had on this entire route. I've been missing a little bit of the bumps. gone from wind to sand but at least it's not windy here <laughs> we're kind of in a, a wash down here this is kind of fun we get to jump some railroad tracks right here up and over look both ways all clear we're about to go under eye 25 here we go ole 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 oh i want a soda so bad so close what's up robin what's up porky what's up whatever the heck i forget your name is what's up kfc what's up, <laughs> we have made it to hatch and we're gonna get sodas and food and look a dinosaur there it is. It's what I've been dreaming about all day. My first soda of the trip. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Jabba, look, we bought Cokes and, and Fantas and we're so happy. Cheers, Cheers. brother. Cheers. Cheers. Today was a, a harder day and we're not actually done. But today was harder than we thought. We're like, oh, not much elevation gain, flat roads, but the wind was pretty burly. We had some rough riding and sand and, you know, even a hard day is a good day though. You know, especially yeah, when you, you end right here drinking good stuff. That's true. And of course I ordered two smothered bean burritos. Look at these two amazing bean burritos covered in hatch sauce. This is as close as you're gonna get to tasting this amazing burrito. New Mexico has some of the best Mexican food. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am full of beans, maybe too full of beans. <laughs> Whoa, bloated and two sodas. We are gonna ride south out of town and look for a campsite so we can sleep under the beautiful desert stars for one last night. We're gonna finish this thing tomorrow. It's gonna be a warm night, I feel. <laughs> you good puppy? There you are, good dog, good dog. Bye. Hey, look, it's the Rio Grande again. So we've decided to get off the paved road and we found ourselves a little desert wash here. What do you think, mister? I think we found home. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Another great day, my friend. Last Boom. full day. Last full day and there's full the day. sun setting. It is about what, 6.30? And this is my mitt that I just got wet. This is how I wash off my legs at the end of the day, wash off my body. It's just nicer to sleep when you get all the crusty salt off. I learned this trick from the famous John, John Mirajan. In just a matter of about 20 minutes, I've got my house up. My bed, my sleeping bag, all my charging things, even my shaver, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a cozy night. No rain fly, so I can see the stars. This is our last night camping. Touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. So this is a great spot, but there are a lot of gnats, and I keep I keep walking around like this, and I'm gonna get in my tent now. Good thing you have that helmet on. Bye, Ryan. It's your life preserver. <laughs> See you later. You can float to Las Cruces. Bye, world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Like and subscribe. Oh, and if you're feeling fancy, 
Join my Patreon.